Hey guys, welcome once again to Brina Creations. I'm glad to have you on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be cooking, but cooking, cooking for the whole month. And this is a lot of stuff we're going to be doing. I'm going to start by giving you a breakdown of all that we have here and what they are going to be used for. So I want to cook about five soups and then stew with uh, ayamase and that is father sauce as well as banga sauce. Um, yes, I'm going to also be prepping my carrots and cab um, carrots and green beans and green peas and then making my stew base. You know, there's a lot going on. And this, uh, this the reason I do all this is because I have a full time job and um, this really helps me to get my life in order. If not, it will stress me out. I'm also going to be preparing my beans. Okay, let's start with this side. I have here my my water water leaf water leaf that I harvested from my garden. Yes, I have a backyard garden. Okay, so this is all from my garden. I'm going to be using to cook for the month, and then sometimes these foods can last us up to six weeks. I have here smoked pala. Um, I'm going to be using it to augment my asa fish and then with oboroko I have this soaking in water to make it softer before I start cooking I haven't finished prepping everything because I realized that the more I prep um, the more time goes so I have just done the fair fair I'll be finishing up the prepping while we're cooking I want to start by cooking my meat by the way so I have here my green pepper this is pepper that is unripe um i'm not sure what the pepper is called but i also have a um, yellow pepper so i'm combining both because this pepper is unripe man the flavor that comes with it is unbeatable also you have this um, yellow pepper very nice flavor so all this is packed in one which makes your food really really yummy okay i have my beans is about eight to ten it's eight cups because i have left just a little bit of beans in the freezer this is eight cups of beans and i'm going to be letting this soak for a while before i start cooking um yeah so that during the week it's easier for me to make maybe beans and corn beans and yam plain beans beans and rice anyway i choose this is um okra i'm going to make an okra soup as well i have a few of them i don't really know which one that i harvested from my garden too but i it didn't do well um it's still a learning curve for me hopefully um we'll do better next time yeah and then we have um this uh, oha leaf i'll make an oha leaf just a little bit because my people don't really like oha so just a little bit uh, will do i have there some green beans green peas red and uh, green pepper carrots which i'm going to be blanching and freezing i'll be letting you guys see that i have my lemons which i want to use to um wash my water filter if you've not seen the video on how i do it i'm going to be linking that in this video guys um have my ugu i have not put this ugu in water by the time i put this ugu in water it's going to three point in size i'll be doing that while i'm cooking so that it can be faster you know so we don't spend the whole day me, um, prepping ingredients um i have here one kilo of goat meat i have a half kilo of goat meat i have your chicken for my stew i have here um these two bottles of frozen banga that has already been extracted um yeah yeah this banga has already been extracted and it cost me 900 per bottle i forgot to show you guys i just brought this out now this is banga that i got from the market yesterday and because i already have one i'm going to use i'll just cook this and freeze once it cools yeah that's how i do it to store it so it doesn't get bad on i'm ready to use um here i have my core crayfish and yellow pepper mix very very nice so that it's easy for me i just i usually put this in my freezer so it's faster when i'm in cooking in the mornings or you know stuff like that i have here my green peppers mix and onions and um spring onions that i've mixed here for ayamase i also have some here that i intend to add so that it can increase in the volume the volume can be more i bought this from the market um yeah i have here some powder then achi some iru ogiri and all that stuff to flavor my meal i have here 
garlic that I have um, peeled. I still have this ginger as a work in progress. Eventually, I'll peel everything and then I'll blend them together and freeze. I have my um, tin tomatoes I want to use to make my stew base, which will eventually turn to my stew and I'll freeze the rest. I have here ginger and garlic from last time I did and it's frozen. I'm going to be using that before I prepare while I'm I'm doing all of this. So I want to use it up before I start with the fresh ones. I have here a goosey and then I have here um, my tomato mix with my dry tomato guys. Yes. I have a bono here, one cup. I have here one mudu of a goosey and then I have my onions. That's it guys. Um I'm going to be letting you see the finished product when we're done so join me guys make sure you watch to the end and let me know what you think i make videos on healthy living budgeting great recipes and uh, home management generally on a budget so if you like videos like this you want to subscribe and then don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified anytime i share a new post and don't forget to drop your comments below give me a thumbs up and share with your friends i'll be seeing you on the other side so we're starting out with um, cooking our meat. I have my goat meat going as well as my chicken for the stew. I have basic ingredients for the goat meat and then I have added curry inside the chicken. I have star anish. I'm going to drop one in the mixture of the meat but just two of the feathers in the chicken because star anish is um, highly concentrated. It's really nice but it has capacity to overpower your meals so i have my salt and every other ingredients in a different video i will show you in details all the ingredients that i have added or i add when i'm cooking this combo but for the sake of this video you want to just sit back relax and enjoy the groove you know by now that the best way to cook your meat is to season them properly and then allow the natural juice for the juice from the meat to come out that way all your spices and everything gets into penetrates into the meat and then when you add this extra water it will give you the opportunity to cook um as to your taste that way it cooks very well and it tastes really nice not that you will have your meat going and it will be tasting bland so I'm tasting for extras just to be sure that everything is going fine. You see this baking soda is a magician. You want to have it in your kitchen at all times. My pressure of cooker is unfortunately inevitably unavailable right now. So I'm putting it to soften my meat and I'm going to continue cooking in my camp gas. Next, I'm going to cook uh, my stew base. This stew base is a lifesaver for me. It helps me to be organized during the week. My meat is ready, guys. And next, I'm going to be cooking my beans. This is a whole lot of work, but it makes my life easy. So this into these beans also, I'm adding some water and then baking soda also. And then some onions for seasoning. Baking soda is... I'm going to be doing a detailed video on baking soda and the benefits. You need to have this handy. It's an alternative, a healthy alternative to account. And you guys know that I preach healthy living around here. So my stew base is going. I like to put a lot of onions and I've added my tomato paste. And then I have my stock fish going. This is my stock fish. I just want to saute it. I'm running out of pot as I speak right now as I was doing this video and then I didn't have enough pot to take the stockfish and the um, dry fish all together. You see that what I just added now is my dry tomatoes. I made videos on, I mean dry tomato mix. I made a video on how to make it in, I'm going to be linking that to this video guys. It is that easy. I bought that video when tomato price was that high and I stored and I'm just getting to use it. Yes guys. Yes, guys, and that's because I do a lot of things that I do in bulk because we are a family of six and then I have a full-time job. I don't have um, free time to be doing things in small, small batches most of the time, guys. So next, I'm going to be cooking my egusi soup, guys. I made a video, a detailed video on how to make egusi soup and I'm going to be linking that in this video as well. I have my crayfish mix, my salt, and then my palm oil going, meat stock, fish, and every other thing, guys. 
you see the secret to your stew or your stew base is in the frying you want to fry 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 it can be demanding because it takes a lot of time but you know it's worth it in the end and then i've added my egusi that i have pu um, pureed or what do i call it and then you see my stew base i added onga seasoning and then onga stew it helps with the color and the taste as well guys you see this oil i've added my onions this is one of the ways i use my stew base after i've finished prepping it for my jollofs and then my stews during the course of the week yes and that is basically to saute the onions and then add my spices before i add the tomato mix my egusi soup on the other hand is rounding up and then in a minute we'll be done with it So you guys may be wondering is this all the meat we're gonna have for the whole week uh, for the whole month um well no um i use the goat meat and the chicken to make the stew the stew is going to last us for maybe one week or two right because we have banga stew too so we're going to supplement so this stew is not as much that will be able to take us for the whole month the meat too yes we're gonna have some when packaging we we'll have some bowls that may not necessarily have meat but that's okay because we can always cook meat during the month so in the course of the month we're going to, we're going to cook more meat and we're going to add and then we're, of course we're going to have rice jollof rice that 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 fish in the course of the month i made a video on the grocery haul and i'm going to be linking that to this video so you see what we have um as meat and then other foodstuffs that we've had we have for this month so that's it guys i hope you're enjoying this video if you are enjoying it so far please don't forget to give me a thumbs up i know one secret one good thing about this uh, tomato dry tomato is in the rising hmm. it rises very very well and trust me guys you will not even know. if you do it properly you will not even know you're using dry tomatoes guys This process, I must be honest with you guys, is very demanding. Uh, it takes several hours to do this, including the meal prep and everything. I get involved when preparing the meals and I have my people around me helping out, but it, there's no denying the fact that it is very demanding. But the, fun, the good thing about it is when you're done, you just go and sit down and be pressing phone. I mean, that's not, don't take it literally. Don't take it. Don't take my word for it. I mean, I have kids around. I have to attend to them. I have other things to cook too. I cook porridges in between rice and all of that pasta. I, I need to be doing more of those kinds of videos, guys. But I just wanted to be sharing with you my batch cooking or my freezer meal ideas. In case you're a mom like me, or even if you're a businesswoman or a woman, with, I have a full-time job. That's the reason why I do this. But even if you don't have a full-time job, you're into business or you work from home, um, this can also help. In the future, it may not necessarily freeze all your soups like vegetable soup any kind kong for example you're supposed to be eating it fresh so feel free to just make small portions that you want to just eat for that moment and then um a good seed draw or hard these ones can are uh, freezer friendly notice that i added a bit of obono into this okra yes just a little bit just to make sure that the viscosity is not hindered you know what i mean yes the other alternative to do this is to add baking soda once again yes baking soda can be used to brush your teeth can be used to you know wash certain things for stomach upsets you can drink it first in the morning okay guys if you've not subscribed at this point guys you need to subscribe so that you can get updates anytime i share a new post guys so let me know in the comment section if this video is helpful to you. I share videos on healthy living, budgeting, and great recipes. Let me know if you like my videos. Okay, you see this up one I've added. I should have added a little bit more water. But I mean, that's okay. Um, I was in a hurry. I was already, my tired was getting tired at this point. And I just like, you know what? It will melt in the water. I should have added a little bit more water at this point to it. At the point I was mixing it or at the time I added it to the pot. But yeah, so that's why I'm doing this video. To also let you guys know what you do in case you find yourself in a similar situation. I started to have lumps in the obono. But yes, I'm always, I'm a magician. So I have a way of fixing every problem in the kitchen. So I have my meat going to and we're making vegetable soup next. In another video, I'll show you how to prep your water leaves. 
so you don't have so much water in your soup so at this point you want to subscribe if you subscribe please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get notifications anytime i share a new post guys you know i love it. i'll do that for you guys i'll share my beautiful pictures and videos with you guys so that you can learn one or two and let me know thank me later You see the lump I'm talking about? This is what the lump looks like. It started to clump together. But yeah, the, the solution is to get everything out and then pound. Or you can blend and then pour them back right in and then mix, mix, mix. All done. So if you ever had this issue with your mono soup, that is the quick fix. So next, we're going to be cooking our banga soup. Our banga stew. I really don't know how to cook eat banga with swallow yes but i know how to eat with rice and i love it you know white rice the taste is heavenly so i've, I've, I've just concluded my obono soup and then i'm going to start cooking my banga yes i'm sauteing all my ingredients now and then the, when it's cooked i can then add the chairman of the ingredients This banga puree man was watery. You know what I mean by watery? The water was too much. I bought it, but I bought this time around from a different vendor. And man, I was just like, it was, I was feeling like I was just pouring water inside the banga. Next time, I will just make my myself. I had to move it to my calm gas to do the cooking because that's much faster. So I'm cooking oha soup now and I'm cooking it with dried um, oha powder. I mean, dry cocoyam powder. And then next, I'm all, at the same time, I'm mixing my iru. And then the other part, I'm, I want to blanch my carrots and green beans for storage. Yes, because of my busy schedule, I may not have time to buy vegetables when I need them. So I added green peas first because it takes longer. And I've added my green beans and then carrots. So I'm just going to let this come to a boil. I am, also added a bit of pep and salt. I'm just going to let this come to a boil and then after that i will get it out of the water and then allow it to cool and freeze that's how easy it is guys have you checked how much it costs to um buy these frozen vegetables in the supermarket if you have you want to you will know that this is a lifesaver so my banga is you know almost done the water level has really dropped and then i'm just concluding so guys this is all we have for the next four weeks sometimes the soup may extend a little bit more but we plan towards four weeks in the course of the month we can do one or two things alternate um maybe cook once to run out of or but this is really the plan um with this i can focus on other things and then plan my life well, I hope you find this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Share with your friends and loved ones. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!